here's how you can download and install affinity for free it's very much simple and very very easy to do so you have to make sure you have a stable internet connection then you head on to any browser of your choice so for this i'll be making use of google chrome so i head on to my search bar and type in affinity dot studio then hit on enter then you're being welcomed by this interface affinity by canva so you head on to the top right of the interface and you go to get affinity you can also scroll down and explore to see other things then you come to this area and sign up for free before you sign up you must have an account with canva if you have an already existing account you sign up with that account if you don't have you sign up with a new account and it's totally free i don't need to have the canva premium or canva pro to be able to access the affinity for free so i already have a canva account but i will sign up with another account so i'll make use of my account here and click on okay and i'll click on continue Then you come to this area where you have download Affinity. As at the moment I'm recording this video, Affinity is currently available for the Mac OS and the Windows. That of the iPad is being worked on and it will be released in subsequent time. So I'll be downloading the I'll be downloading the Affinity for Windows. Once you click on download for Windows, you have different options here, the MSIX and all of these options here. So for this video, making use of this, the first option, Microsoft Installer X. So this MSIX is the installer package format, while the X64 is the system architecture. So these options are modern, secure, and very safe. While you wait for it to download, here are the few things you need to know about Affinity by Canva. So you need a Canva account to actually access the free Affinity. And also, you don't need to have the Canva Pro or Canva Premium to be able to have this design software for free. And also, it also has AI features, but only when you are subscribed to the Canva premium that's when you can be able to access the premium features and also it currently supports mac os and windows os as at when this video is recorded that of the ipad version has not been released yet in subsequent time it will be released and also there's no difference between the mac os version and the windows version it's just different operating system and here's one interesting thing about this affinity you can also import your adobe files directly into affinity with all the layers maintained, your layouts maintained, the composition, everything maintained directly into Affinity. Isn't that crazy? Also, you might be wondering, do I have to be online to always access this Affinity? It's definitely your choice. You can decide to be online or offline. But the one that requires you to be online is when you want to activate your license. That is when you want to create your Canva account, right? So you have to be online. But after that, you can use it offline for free. And also, it's always advisable to be online once in a while so that I can be able to assess new updates and make the software much more better for use. Once you've successfully downloaded it, then you head on to your download option or you come to this area, then you select the Affinity X64 MSIX. So you have this interface here, Publisher Canva, the version, the source, and the capabilities. Then you come to this area, then you click on Install. Make sure this is checked. Launch when ready. Hit on Install then getting the system ready for install. So you have your interface here. So you give it a little while to launch. Once you have this interface here, you log in here. So I'll continue with the email I have my Canva account with. So you might have some issues whereby the activation might not be successful. This might be to the fact that your time is not set correctly or the time you have on your PC doesn't correspond with the actual time in real life. So you have to correct that. I experienced that, so that I had to correct mine too. Then once you're done, click on continue. So you click on always allow pay, then click on open affinity. Then you wait a little while while they confirm your license. So once your license is confirmed, this is a very crucial step. Once it's confirmed, that means you have affinity for free, forever. Yes. So you have this option here before you start make a choice about the data so when you use affinity your usage data can really help us shape or improve so or if you agree with this you can click on agree to data use it and click on continue so depending on your choice here so like other tools so if you're new to affinity or if you've been using it for a while before so you can watch tutorials on how to start that i'll also be creating tutorials on basics of affinity so you can check out my channel in subsequent times
so you click on start creating then you have your interface here so welcome CO graphics and um, yeah and also you can turn off your mobile data and um, access this here so let's make an example so this is our interface here so let's go with the ellipse tool hold on shift to draw a perfect circle so you select this then you move this around and here we have it guys affinity for free forever Alright guys, that is it on this video on how to download and install Affinity. It's very much simple and very very easy to do. Alright guys, um, if you found this video helpful, do watch it on that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. And don't forget to like, share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.